And hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to get a fresh installation of RPG Builder 2.0. If what you wish is to upgrade your 1.1 project to 2.0, there is another video for you on my channel. This is for people who want to start fresh. So the first step is optional, you don't have to do it, but if you want the demo to look as it should, you will go under Edit, Project Settings, Player, and you will go from Gamma to Linear. And that's it. The next step is obviously importing RPG Builder. So for that, you go under the Asset Store or the Package Manager, type RPG Builder and click Import. Once you do so, it will show you this window and all the nice things that you get once you import RPG Builder. So all you have to do here is click Import again. You don't have to tick or untick anything and you just let Unity do, do its thing. This process might take a minute, so I'm going to pause the recording and come back when it's done. Okay, it is done for me. Now, if you go to the console, you will see that you might have some warnings here. Just don't worry about those. You can clear that and you will never have issue from those. Now, next, we can go under Blink, getting started. And there is a small window here that is, that is going to save us even more time. I actually automated the getting started process now. So we can untick switch to linear because we just did it. And I'm going to click on Setup RPG Builder. It's going to load the main menu scene and it's going to show us the TMP importer window. You just click on import TMP essentials. And we can now close this window and this one as well. And that's it. We can look at RPG Builder now. And as you can see, there are already um, abilities, effects, stats, um, NPCs, even some items that I made for you in the demo that you can learn from. And of course, you're now ready to create your own. Now, there are a few more steps. Um, you need to go under Edit, Project Settings, Tags and Layers. Click on the small preset icon here and double click this. Now that's pretty much it. Um, there is one more optional step, which is importing post-processing. You don't have to, but we're going to do it just for the sake of the video. And this is going to ensure that the demo looks exactly as it should. So we're going to go to the package manager. As you can see, I'm going to type post. And if Unity wants to load, okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and install. And it's done. Now I'm going to select the camera here and add a uh, post process layer component here. I'm going to assign post processing layer on it. And that's it. As you can see, um, the post process is post-processing just got enabled. I can go ahead and press play. And we should be able to go in game now, create a new character. And that's it. We even have some um, nice music from one of our partner. We can talk to the NPC, buy some items, and I can go ahead and um, show you a few of the abilities extra. So here we have some training dummies, we have some boars there, we have some bears as well. Uh, a lot of assets uh, given to you for free, including in RPG Builder. And we have of course a lot more on our stores that you can check out, but this gets you started. And so that's it. As you can see also 2.0 came with uh, the day and night cycle. It is on purpose very quick right now, just so that we can see the, the difference in action. But yeah, pretty fun. There are of course thousands of features and systems that you now have access with RPG Builder and I'm not going to cover those in this, you know, getting started video. Uh, just stay tuned and check the YouTube channel as well as the Discord for more info on how RPG Builder works and all the things available to you now. Have fun!